So please correct yesterday's dates. I wrote, I wrote the Thursday correctly, but then I put Tuesday's date of 18 yeah. instead of 20. <laughs> so today 21, please. triangle. So what are the names of the non-right angle triangles? No, isosceles could be right angle, dude. Scaling. Scaling could be right angle. What is scaling? What does scaling mean? None of the sides are equal. So, is it scaling or not? So you can have scaling right angle triangle. You can have isosceles right angle triangle. Okay? Equilateral, of course. But we don't have to use the word equilateral. Does it mean it has to be equilateral before you can use the sign rule? So what type of triangle will give us a broader choice? Acute angled triangle and obtuse angled triangle. You know what acute angle triangle means? Yeah. Not the one that is cute, okay? <laughs> All the angles are? Smaller than 90. So it doesn't have to be collateral only. Okay? It could be 50, 70, that makes it 120, right? Then 60. No, no, 50, 70, 60. All are less than 90. Okay? An obtuse angle triangle means what? Larger. Yeah, what? One angle, one, one angle is more than 90. One angle is more than 90. Okay? So once you discover this, you can use uh, the sine rule and the same thing for the cosine rule. Okay? So unlike uh, the right angle triangle thing we did before, remember this type of shape? Remember this? In the right socatoire, what we normally do is to break it into two. Remember? Yeah. If this is A, B, C, and D, I told you to always draw two triangles. The smaller triangle, what triangle is that? What are the letters? B, C, B, C D. Thank you. And the bigger triangle will be? B, B, A, B, D. No. A, C, D, not A, B, D. Because both of them have to be right angle. Before, you must have this before you can use Sokatoa, right? But now you don't need to do that. You can actually just treat, you can use this one and use sine rule or cosine rule to find any missing side or angle. Understand? Okay, so let's take some examples. Um, actually. I put four here, it means there are two extras. I, I just think of something in my head. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, so let's say five x and theta. So question one. This side is x maybe. Maybe this is 110 degrees. Uh, let's say this is 50 degrees. And uh, maybe this is 4 cm. Okay, everyone stop writing. Let's label this triangle X. No, not X again. Okay. 
it could be x here, y here, and c here. So that this small x is this. Okay? For sine rule, like I said, there are four uh, things there. x over sine x, is that not? y over sine y, it could be z also, we don't know yet. What I'm looking for is small x. Okay, so this side is okay. Oh. Right? But then, if I'm looking for this, I have to know this too. Do we know why? Okay, we don't know this. Okay, so maybe it is z. Then I have to know this too also. Right? Talk to me, please. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do we know this too? Yes, yes. But this is not good. We can find it. Right? Yeah. We can find it. So, from, so we say angle x plus y plus z is equal to what? 180. So, which means angle z is equal to 180 minus x minus y. Something like that. Or if you just substitute directly, after you state the approach, you substitute 110, right? 50 plus z equals 180. Yes? Then angle z will be equal to 180 minus 110 minus 50. What's that? 20, 20 degrees. So yes, we know this indirectly. Then we have a complete family. Remember, I said you have to have a complete family to use sine rule. Am mm -hmm. I making sense? Yeah. So now that we have a complete family, then you say from sine rule, uh, or by sine rule, yes, which sine rule do we state? State for me. X over sine X equals it. Because this is triangle X, Y, Z, and you are combining the X family and the Z family. Understand? Mm. So then, with this, we substitute. Okay? We substitute. So our X is unknown. Sine X is sine 110. Our Z is 4. And this is sine 20 degrees. Understand? So we cross multiply. X times sine 20 is equal to 4 sine 110 or times. Okay? Don't put the number here so it doesn't look like 101104. One, one, That's why you put the number first. Understand? Then from here, don't press the calculator and write the decimal number for this and divide by decimal. No. You are approximating too premature. We call that our premature approximation too early. Because this will be decimal. You are probably going to write two or three of them. What about the billions of digits left? Understand? So that's premature approximation. You are still going to approximate when you divide. Is that not? So that's like double approximation. You don't get to the correct answer like that. So you just write in terms of this and let the calculator do the rest. Okay? What do you get? So three significant figures according to IDCSC rule. Make sure you are in degree mode also. Ten, ten point. Wait, eleven. 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 Because it's ten point nine or something, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's eleven. That's it. Understand? Do you know what are you doing? You are not paying attention. You are not one of those I'm talking to, right? Right? All my rules are for 24 students, not for you. Right? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? That you're above the rule? Is that what you're saying? I'm talking to you. Does this make sense, please? Can I ask you to try the first question now? The first question. If you finish too early, no, you don't have to label. Oh, 
you want to use uh, the A, B, C something. Okay. If they call it X, then you have to make sure angle X is this one. Understand? Then any other one could be Y or Z. So you can label it yourself. No, you don't need to find the angle. I found that angle because I need a complete family. You have to check. Do you have a complete family yourself? So why are you finding the angle? Understand? Someone is trying to find the angle. You don't find the angle unless you need to. Okay? Mm. Complete the first one quickly. If you are too fast, go to the second one as well. Like I said yesterday, if you have the triangle ABC, the side facing A is small A, the side facing angle B is small B, the side facing angle B is small C. Side are small letter, angles are capital letters. So you can try the third one if you finish the second also. Leave your answer in three significant fingers, the IDCS requirement. Uh, 
X, Z B or T or arrow, if you write properly. And don't assume I know what you're writing. If you write equals to, it looks like equals to. If it doesn't look like this, I cancel everything. Good. Looks like the first uh, aspect is not a problem to us all. I've seen what you've done, well done. Let's try to find an angle. This isn't it. <coughs> okay, everyone, please pay attention. So I want to do one on angles. Okay, so let's focus here. Uh, Matthew just asked me, how do we label this? Again, you don't have to label. So I'm going to do this without label. Okay, when you if you don't label, you can say A over sign A, B over sign B. Okay, but we are only labeling so that it you know, matches the letter given. So there's nothing like capital theta, small theta, no, nothing like that. Okay, so I can just say by sign rule, A over sign A, because B over sign B, even though there was never a label of triangle A, B, C. You do that. Or you could just label them yourself and call it triangle ABC. Understand? The idea is do we have a complete family? Like we always said, we have, right? Which side and which angle is that? And 38 and 66 degrees, right? So this is the complete one. This is the incomplete one. Is that not? That means this is useless, right? 
So yes, it's possible you have more information than you need. Just focus on the information that is necessary, sufficient for your work. Understand? So if I pick this as a complete one, then I can write, yes? Speak, 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 speak. 38. And if this is the complete one? Kiana, I can hear your voice. Divided by? That's it. Understand? Or do you prefer to label? Does that make it easier for you? Is label easier for you? Yes. Okay, in that case, let's go through the label. So, because this is triangle XYZ, let's call this triangle ABC. So, we will call this A, then this could be B, and this could be C. Then we have used C over sine C, like that. So if you prefer to label, label any three consecutive letters. A, B, C, P, Q, R, X, Y, Z, they are the most common ones. Okay, then state your sign rule according to the label, substitute accordingly as well. Understand? There's no crime in that. But if it's already labeled, you have to work with the label. So you can see, there's no restriction. Here we say X over sign X, Z over sign Z. Here we say A and C. There's no restriction. Just make sure there's consistency. Understand? So, again, like the first one, don't try to check this in the calculator. No, no need. Cross multiply. This time around, this is what we want, so let it come first. 38 sine theta, 37.386 sine 66. Understand? So that sine theta is equal to 37.386 sine 66 degree divided by 38. Now, your calculator may not be as advanced as the calculator that is being used in IB. I'll tell you what to do. Hold on. Uh, some of you can do fraction in your calculator. Raise your hand. You can do fraction in your calculator. OK, in that case, most calculators should work. Now, listen. Again, theta is, it should be half sign, right? But this is like a fraction itself. <clears throat> That's fine. Half sign. Of so you press this like this in the calculator, so you get as accurate answer as possible. Your answer will be as accurate as possible because if you divide, you're going to end up getting zero point something, which you cannot really write everything right. So it's not advisable to use that. So you have thirty-seven point three eighty-six multiplied by sine sixty-six, everything divided by thirty-eight. What do we have? Our angles is always to one decimal place in IDCSE. Everybody must try to make sure they can do this in the calculator. If your calculator does not have enough functionality for this, please tell me. I'll show you what you can do. 64.3.999, right? Yeah. Ah, so that's 64 degree. Which is more or less 64.0. Is that not? If you have to leave it in one decimal place. It's possible. When you do this, okay, can you try something now? Let's try something. 38 from here. 38, what is sine 66 in the calculator? Quickly. 0 0.914. 914. Okay, maybe you use three significant figures, for example. Okay, then you have 37.386 divided by sine theta, which means this step will look like this to you, if anybody has done that. If anybody has done it this way, this type will look like, uh, oh, even before then, they would have to have multiplied this by that, right? Mm -hmm. So this will have been, this step will have been 37.386 times 0 0.914, 0 can you know, somebody tell me what that is? 34. Speak loud that quickly and fast. 34.2. Point two. Two what? Just two? Oh no, there's more. I just rounded off to three. You see another rounding. How many times have you rounded now? Twice. Twice. Okay. So here, we'll probably have arc sine of 
34.2 divided by 38. Tell me what the value is. Mr. Tomash, I'm not sure we can see this. Please, if you are not going to be able to monitor this closely, please let me know. We can always put it in another location. I need you to help us with this. Yes, what do we have? 64.2. Can you see that? 64.2. That's 0 0.2. Could be the difference between you trying to conclude that something is a right angle triangle or not. Am I correct? You get an angle that is 90 degree. Comment on your result. Oh, it is a right angle triangle. Somebody that got 90.2, can this person comment the same thing? No. Somebody that got 88.8, 89.8, can the person comment the same thing? No. So that's zero point something makes some difference too. In some cases, of course, you need to do approximation. But in this type of situation, in most situations, you don't need to approximate until you get to the last part. Understand? Just work with your exact result until the last step. I can't remember this particular question when I was in high school. I think it's on bearing. After we draw the shape and we try to calculate using sign rule, we end up getting error. Because we have done a lot of premature approximation, and at the end, this value here would have been 1.000 something. The value here will have been 1.000 something. And that sign of 1. Point something does not exist. So we get error. Because we have done a lot of premature approximation on the way. Rather than getting maybe 0 0.999, the, angle, the result, the actual result was close to 90. So which should be something close to this sign of 90 is 1. So we are supposed to be getting 0 0.98 something and find the arc sign and the answer will be very close to 90. But because of the premature approximation, we end up getting 1.001 or something like that. And the side, arc sign of that is error. I can't remember the exact question, but we, I knew we ran into some of this in high school there. And I've seen students treat the same question. Funny enough, it was a past examination question. So it's possible that some of us will be in that exam that year and we run into the problem and we are wondering, oh, what is going on? Maybe there's an error in the question. There is no error in the question. You are the one that has approximated prematurely. Okay? I'll give you another interesting uh, thing. This happened with the form 5 also. Now look at this. Everybody look at it. I think I gave a question like this previously, uh, recently. I asked them to find theta and uh, the missing side, if I'm not mistaken. For one reason or the other, maybe this is, uh, maybe this is three, uh, maybe this is five, this is 90. So this will have to be three squared plus five squared, isn't it? Nine plus 25 is 34, so the square root of 34. Is that enough? I think I expect them to, one way or the other, I ask them to use the answer to write the sign of this angle or something like that. Now, someone would have done square root of 36, five point something, right? Then they would say sine theta equals to three over five point something. This is an approximation. By the time they find the arc sign, the result is also an approximation. Am I making sense? But because you have approximated before the final approximation, your answer will be a bit far from the real answer. What do I say them to use? Leave this as square root of 34. Your calculator is not complaining. <laughs> what is your problem? The calculator never said, oh, if you give me square root, it's more difficult for me. Oh, has your calculator spoken to you this morning about that? No. So what's your problem? Leave it in exact. Let the calculator handle the rest so that your answer is closer to the, you know, as close as possible to the correct answer. Avoid premature approximation. What did I say? Avoid premature approximation. Let the calculator handle the rest just like this. So let's go turn to question two now in our worksheet. Everybody turn to question two. Now do to first question of number two. First question of number two. Just leave it here, sir. Thank you.
First question of number two, try that. Label like you agreed to do, then use your label to write the sign rule, and after you write the sign rule, substitute and do the needful. Excuse me, sir, this is wrong. What, what's the difference between the angle and the side? Uh, capital, capital, capital letter and small letter.